This is tutorial 8, question 10. In Lay's 5th edition, page 295, we are given that E is the standard basis <coughs> for R3 and B is a basis for vector space V. Also, with three elements in the basis. So the dimension of B and the dimension of E are the same. There's a linear transformation from R3 to V and it has this property. Right, let's see what is E first. E is, in the, e is the standard basis, so it looks like this. Each basis vector, there's only a single one there. And E1 is 1, 0, 0, E2 is 0, 1, 0, and E3 is 0, 0, 1 is ordered because we need them to be in this order. Now x standard in the x in the standard basis is equals to e times x e. Since e is a standard basis, therefore this equation holds. And this is why we we uh, also have a change of basis in this form. X standard equals to the basis, ordered basis, multiplied by the coordinate vector in that particular basis. So x standard equals to b times x1 to 3 in the b basis. Therefore, we can now change, or we can now find xb simply by pre-multiplying on the left by b minus 1 on the standard basis to get x in the b coordinate. Right. So let's try. We are asked to compute T E1. T of E1 is 1, 0, 0. Or simply T of 1, 0, 0, where this element is x1 and x2 and x3. We look at the transformation given to us and we found that it is simply 0, B1 minus b2 plus b3 this is t e1 in the vector space v over here see t of e1 e1 is r3 will give you an element for example, call y, and y belongs to the vector space v. Now, we convert this into the standard basis. So let's call each of these elements y1, y2, and y3. In the standard basis, and therefore, this is the B basis multiplying Y in the B basis. Okay, so these guys are the standard basis representation of Y. And now we want to find TE1, TE2, TE3 then in the B basis. So therefore, YB is simply b minus 1, y1, y2, y3. So the first question, 9a, we will get t of e1 is simply equals to minus b2, minus b2, plus b3, and TE1 in the B basis is simply equals to minus, sorry, 0, minus 1, and plus 1 from this equation over here. This is an element of V this is an element of R3 in the B basis. 
you can then continue to do for 9a. What about TE2? TE2 is the transformation from 0, 1, 0. And we work it out. It's minus B1, minus B3. Therefore, again, TE2 in the B basis is simply this element over here. Minus 1, 0, and minus 1 in the B basis. And the last one, TE3, will have T, 0, 0, 1. And the answer is B1 minus B2. And therefore, TE3 in the B basis is simply equals to 1 minus 1, 0, B. We're now ready to write the matrix T from B to the standard basis, which is simply T of E1 Sorry, it is from the standard basis to the B basis. We have B here. We have B here. And the last one is T of E3. We have B here. And the answer is this matrix. 0, minus 1, 1. Minus 1, 0, minus 1. 1, minus 1, 0. From the standard basis to the B basis. Thank you.